coalition operations over the last 24 hours remain focused. The land component attacked further into the defenses of Baghdad, seizing key objectives in the process. Concurrently, operations continue to eliminate paramilitaries and regime elements remaining in urban areas within the zone of attack. In the south, UK forces continued to expand the area influenced by the coalition. Their efforts to rid Basra of regime death squads are effective and they're ongoing. As coalition forces clear these areas of regime, the 1st Marine Expeditionary Force continued its attack toward Baghdad, destroying remnants of the Baghdad Republican Guard Division near Al Qut and elements of the Al Nida Republican Guard Division between Al Qut and Baghdad. The attack continues. Fifth Corps attacked Iraqi forces on the approach to Baghdad and seized several key intersections on the south side of the city. The attack continued through the night, and by dawn this morning, the coalition had seized the international airport west of Baghdad, formerly known as Saddam International Airport. The airport now has a new name, Baghdad International Airport, and it is the gateway to the future Iraq. This short video shows an example of what I just... The, the airport gives us a number of things. First, it, it prevents the departure of regime leaders with it being in our possession. It is an airport, and so in due time, it would be something that can be used for air operations when we decide to put it back into operation, and certainly that is uh, important either for current military operations or for future operations after conflict is complete. Most importantly, we preserved it for the future Iraq, and that's the most significant aspect of what we'll get out of having that terrain in our possession. This is a military complex for command and control. A series of buildings were engaged in this case from an aerial platform. in a neighborhood of An Najaf. Propel grenades in this particular image. Anti-tank guided missile systems. And uh, the third image is the rubber assault boat itself. A chemical agent that was developed back in the 40s. Some of these were taken away and testing is ongoing. But we think that there may have been an explanation for this as an NBC.